Robert Lucky and Company was founded in 1953 by former Birmingham News editor and advertising manager Robert Lucky Jr. By the end of that first decade, my father had joined the agency right out of college. He spent his entire career at Lucky, which is remarkable considering that the way one usually moves up in advertising is by changing companies, even moving back to the ones you had worked at previously. Well, the company has also been known by the names Lucky and Forty, Tucker Wayne Lucky, and currently Lucky and Company. They've had an impressive roster of clients and award-winning work along the way. Some of the first clients the company had on the roster was Blue Cross and Blue Shield of Alabama and a little company called South Central Bell, which will be part of our story. Lucky was always present in my life. I knew the clients. I knew the work. I could watch it on TV or see it in the papers. I took a lot of pride in the work being done by my father and others on staff. I loved hanging out at Lucky, and the ad agency atmosphere really appealed to me. Now let's get this straight. It's not the madman agency you saw on TV. This is still the South, after all. As sons of an art director, my brother and I were used as models for various ads. Avondale Mills, the State of Alabama Tourism, and South Central Bell are a few of them that come to mind. My father even surprised me with a billboard for BTMB, Birmingham Trust National Bank, that used my check card to help advertise the new Anytime Teller machines. It was a huge likeness of the card with my actual number on it. Can you imagine what would happen today if that happened? Luckily, there were no personal computers and no internet at that time. After college, I spent a little time at Lucky in the mailroom and then later working as a freelance graphic designer. My brother is currently an art director at Lucky. There has been a right working at Lucky for the past 60 plus years. In this story, I want to tell you about one of the ads produced. It may not be the most successful ad produced by Lucky, but it just may be the most talked about. The Bear Bryant ad for South Central Bell. Every now and then, I read stories on the internet about the commercial. What happened? How that famous tagline came about? Or what those writers thought happened? These stories were usually wrong, and credit was given to the wrong people. I wanted to set the record straight, so I had a talk with the creative director on that project, my dad, Leo Wright. It all starts with an early commercial that Coach Bryant was in. We had done a spot with uh, Coach Bryant for BTNB, Birmingham Trust National Bank, in which he was really acting as a spokesperson, and uh, he was supposed to walk and talk at the same time, go from one place to another, and sell a uh, credit card, which at the time was a Bank AmeriCard. And the coach had problems saying he would say Bank American card when we would say, Coach, it's Bank AmeriCard. And he would say Bank American card. Uh, but we fixed it in the uh, post. So several years later, South Central Bell hired Coach Bryant to be the spokesperson, uh, do several uh, spots for them. And having worked with him before, uh, we knew some of the limitations and things that uh, we wanted to not do uh, with him, which was make him a spokesperson. We wanted him to be as natural as as he could be and uh, make him comfortable. And he wasn't really selling anything. He was just telling us what he something from his heart and my wife and I were in a supper club at, the, at that time and I was telling the group how we had coach Bryant and that we need to do some TV spots with him and we wanted him to be uh just very natural and and be coach Bryant and one of the people at the uh supper club was a very uh loyal and uh outspoken Alabama fan, uh, Larry Wilson. And Larry said, well, you know, every time a new freshman class comes in, he has them, first thing, sit down and write a postcard home to their mamas saying they're okay. And so immediately that gave me an idea. And when I went back into work, I got with our writer, Lou Cruz, and the art director, Randy Sims, 
and told him uh, this little bit. So then Lou took it and uh, put it in context, uh, opening with that and saying uh, how important it was to stay in touch and that, you know, your phone was close by and all you had to do was pick it up and call. And she added, uh, have you called your mama? So we arranged to shoot Coach Bryant uh, in his office in Tuscaloosa, and we hired uh, a production company out of Tuscaloosa, uh, Joe Wiggum, who had shot other things with Coach Bryant, so he would know how to work with him, too. And everything got set up, and Coach Bryant was very relaxed, and he went through the script, and we all said, that's, that's great, you know, uh, Thank you. And he said, "Uh, would it be all right if I added something? And, you know, who's going to say no to Coach Bryant? And so we said, sure, let's let's roll it again. And we rolled it again. And after the line, have you called your mama today? He added, I sure wish I could call mine. That was a line that we could not have added to it and had it be real. It had to come from him, and and it really made the spot and became a very big favorite of uh, not only Alabama fans, but Auburn fans and anybody else who uh, saw the spot. Uh, One interesting story was when uh, the people at Bell told us that they had gotten a phone call from a man in Louisiana who said that He had been sitting there watching television, and the spot came on, and he thought, you know, I really need to call my mama. And so he gets up and calls her, and she died later that night. And he just wanted to call and thank them for prompting him to uh, have one last call with his mama. So did you hear anything else about how it went over? Uh, Yeah, it became very popular, and uh, Louis Grizzard, uh, even wrote a book that said, uh, that was called, Don't Forget to Call Your Mom, I Wish I Could Call Mine. That was a uh, a popular book. And uh, to this day, we did other spots with Coach Bryant at the time. And frankly, I don't even remember what they were. This was the uh, ultimate uh, spot for Bear Bryant and South Central Bell. So there you have it. The story of the South Central Bell Bear Bryant ad. Coach Bryant finished his career as head coach at the University of Alabama. South Central Bell became Bell South and then AT&T, and Lucky continued to do great work. And since the creative team did such a great job, I wanted to give credit where credit is due. Creative director is Leo Wright. Copywriter is Lou Cruz. Randy Sims is the art director. And the director, cinematographer, is Joe Wiggum with Helios Productions in Tuscaloosa. Well, I hope you enjoyed it. If there's one thing we've learned, it's time to call your mama. Until next time, I'm Sean Wright. I hope you enjoyed this Alabama short story. If you enjoyed this story, do me a favor and tell one friend to give it a listen. You can subscribe to the podcast at Apple Music, Spotify, or wherever you prefer to listen to podcasts. See you next time at Alabama Short Stories.